Hello, my name is Natalie from the edtechwizard.com and here on my channel, I help online teachers become the best teachers they can with technology. So in this video, we are going to set you up with a Canva game template. Now, whether you have, you've created your own game board with Canva or you found one of mine from my Teachers Pay Teacher Shop, we're gonna show you how to add your characters, add questions, and how to play your new game board with your online students. So let's jump in. Here is your game board and we want to add some characters. So in Canva, you're gonna to go to elements and then just type in something to go along with the theme of your game board. So this is an outdoor camping theme. So I'm gonna add some animals and I love the, the ones with the transparent backgrounds. And then shrink it down and I just put it anywhere on my game board. We'll do one more. So just search and we'll do that one. And then I let students, when I'm ready to play, I let students pick their character and then I just move them down to the start line and then we are ready to go along the board. But for now, I just have them all set out so students can see them. Okay, we're adding questions. I have on this template you can buy from Teachers Pay Teachers already slides here so you can type your question. Now this could be a simple equation, this could be a word problem, this could be um, a question, um, what is the third president of the United States? This can for sure be used in any subject you teach. It is very versatile like that. You can use it across so many. Okay, so once you have a bunch of questions written out, you are ready to play. Now here's how we're going to make it interactive. I want to be able to move these and then when a student hits a square, I want to be able to pop that question up. That is where this little magic button comes in. Bring up all of these slides you have. So I have this, say student, we roll the dice, students are here. And then I'm just gonna click this next slide. There's our question students answered. Once they've done answered, I'm gonna go back to the game board. We roll again. I'm gonna pop up the next question and I'm just gonna go down the row. That way I can keep track of what questions have been answered. So starting with the first one, next one, here's our question. And then I'm gonna go back here to pop up this game board again. So I can have several questions we can go through. Okay, now how to play this game in your online classroom. And the best way to engage your students. Here's what I found that worked really well. I have one question and I pop up the question. All of my students are going to answer this question. That way everyone's engaged and participating. So question is three times two. I'm gonna let students think of the answer. And then once I see or have students give me a thumbs up when they have the answer, then I'm going to shout, have the students shout out the answer. And they'll shout it out five. And then I can quickly gauge who or how many students know it. It's kind of hard to tell if anyone shouts out the wrong answer who it was. But if someone does get the wrong answer, then I know that I, that's a question I need to go back and reteach. But if everyone gets the right answer, then I go back to our game board. Um, I said everyone, but even if students don't get the right answer, everyone still moves on the board. So back at the start, now I'm going to roll the dice for everyone. And what that looks like is I have these really big foam dice that are fun, especially for the younger kids. So I just go down through the line, how I see them on my Zoom screen of who gets to roll. That way I can keep track and make sure everyone is in, has their turn. So if it's Mary's turn, I just, okay, Mary, tell me when to stop. And I roll the dice and she says stop. 
And then whatever number I land on, that's how many spots I move her character. Now what makes this one, this dice super fun, is students are watching and waiting to see if they can say stop on the biggest number. Very hard to do, but they like this dice. Another dice you can use is dice on your computer. So what that looks like is if you just um, Google search, Google dice, Google dice, and it's going to pop up with this dice right here. You have lots of options for how many side, how many sides you want your dice to have. And then you just click roll six. And then I just pop back to my game board and I move them six spots. And I keep going down the, down the row. Once everyone has rolled, then I show the next question. And have fun with this question. Have students shout out the answer, whisper the answer, type it in the chat box, type on a piece of paper and show it to you. Lots of ways you can have fun with their response. So that is how you can add characters to your game board use the slides to add questions to make it interactive. You can move the characters, you can show a question and have fun with the dice. Now, when I play my, my games in class, I do share a portion of my Zoom screen. So make sure you watch that video down below to share a portion of your, of your Zoom screen. That way it gets rid of all the distractions of your com computer screen and it makes it look like you are in present mode. Students can't see all your open tabs. They can't see the black elements box on the, on the left. It looks like you're in present mode, which is awesome. So I hope you um, enjoy this video and have fun playing this game with your students. And I'll see you later.